Hey everybody, the Bong is here, yet to give you another Let's Play. And not only that, another Castlevania Let's Play. Castlevania Circle of the Moon for the Game Boy Advance. So, let's get my file created. Of course, you know my name. I use it all the time. Ever since I started LPing, that is. It is 1830 at an old Austrian castle from the worshippers of chaos rise the plea for the re return of the lord of darkness and sadly I cannot skip this so you're gonna have to watch you guys don't mind do ya? nah besides this is entertaining stuff Well, there's Catherine Zeta-Jones, I mean, Carmilla there. We crave the presence of the embodiment of suffering. The ruler of darkness. And just like that, Dracula is ready to be resurrected. I have waited for this moment to be awake again. To bask in darkness and feel the moonlight within. Russell Crowe, I mean Count Dracula, I am honored to be in your presence. Indeed, though I lack my full power, you are preparing the right to replenish your power. Stop! You cannot be allowed to take the world. You, I remember. You were one of the vampire killers that sealed me. You've aged. Uh, no shit, there's a little thing called, uh, life. You know, you should really get used to that, Dracula. It is our duty to see you banished. I'm using to use my nemesis life to return my power. I have no use for children. Be gone! Now see, that's why I hate bats so much. You! Nathan! Master! Father! We're falling! Ah! Ah! Oh, okay, we're done. Hmm. No creatures around here. You, are you okay? Yeah, you just brush aside and ignored. We have to find Master. I'll go. He's my father. Nathan, you'll be in the way. Just get out of here. Asshole. I want to find Master as much as anybody. Alright, now we're in this just pretty long shaft there. Try to get out. I'll go pick up some hearts along the way and take out these first set of enemies. Skeleton Bombers. Hopefully the video turns out pretty good because I tested this on Visual Boy Advance and the audio was skipping and I didn't like it. Ooh, I just received a Salamander card. And here's the DSS and I'll explain that later. Attribute and action cards will create a specific effect. These can be set at the menu screen, DSS option. And DSS stands for Dual Setup System. And it's the equivalent of Satan raping you so hard you're bleeding out of the pores of your hair. And what it is, is you get like two different sets of cards. One for actions and one for attributes. Like actions are pretty much determined like new attacks for you. And attributes are pretty much serve as elements. Like, you know, you could be like a fire card, like an ice card, poison, etc. So, you cannot use the Salamander card until you pick up an action card first. And let me tell you, picking up uh, DSS cards from later enemies is a pain in the ass because certain cards are held by certain enemies and those enemies have a pretty good chance of killing you. That's how horrible it is. And plus, you need a really high luck rating to cash in on getting those cards. And as you can tell, my luck rating is a hundred, but but I'm at level one, so it's not considered very high. So yeah, we got a long way to go before we can actually fill up these collections. So without further ado, let's do what we can do. And go to the catacomb. More of these skeleton bombers. Hold the B button and you can brandish your whip. Look at me! I'm twirling! Twirl my whip! Twirl my whip! And it's pretty good for deflecting ranged attacks, but it doesn't do a lot of damage up close. 
So be sure you take that into consideration. And if you're asking what emulator I'm actually using for this, it's the no dollar sign GBA emulator. And it works pretty good, I must say. Oh, well, there's a block there. But we can't push that yet, so we'll have to come back here later. That's okay, we don't exactly have to go to that certain spot anyway. We got the skeleton bomber, and of course we gotta kill those bats. Poison worms. They will be a pain because they actually can poison you, and they can either drain your health and decrease your damage. But at least the brandish ability takes care of them, especially once they're too low. Uh, let's see, am I going the right way here? This is a very confusing castle after all. Okay, let's look up this area first. Okay, there's the first save point, and they can replenish your health, so... If you're running low and don't have enough items, go to a save point as soon as you can. It'll save you a lot of trouble, trust me. It'll save your ass. Okay, maybe I went this way. What could be over here? Hmm, this looks new. Oh, but I can't go there yet. I cannot jump that high. I need an ability to get there. Alright, my first sub weapon. Hold up and B, and that's how you use them. Alright, some armor. Let's go to the items. Uh, I'll put it on my right arm. Why not? Gives me some more intelligence. As far as I know, what intelligence actually does is increase the power of your sub-weapons and your DSS abilities. It'll come in handy for those later. But if you're just using a whip, look, why would you need intelligence for that? You don't need brains to use a whip, you need power! Power! I have the power! And I got some poison worms to kill! Okay, apparently I can't pick up any more hearts. Uh, should I go this way first? Yeah, might as well. What can go wrong here? Shit, an earth demon. They're pretty tough. But if you know their attack patterns, you'll have no problems. And since that enemy is flashing blue, that means my attacks aren't doing as much damage as it should. It's not his weakness. But I don't have any other means of attacking, so I got no choice. Woohoo! Level 2! Another magic gauntlet. Let's put another one this time on my left arm. Now my arms match! It's good to have matching arms. It's a fashion sense. Even vampire killers need to be focused on fashion. What's this? Dash boots received. Double tap forward to perform a dash move. Let's try it out. Oh, you can actually run! Look at it! Oh, Look at that. Bats can kiss my ass. Now see, if I could do this without the dash boots, I wouldn't be able to make it. Oh great, the bats respawn. Real nice. But with the dash boots, I can't cross that. Uh, there's a new area, but let's explore the rest of this place first. What hurts? It's pretty cool to have a branch ability. Oh wait, this ain't a new area. This is pretty much just the same one. But I can't go there yet either. There's more abilities I need to get. But at least those earth demons give you a lot of experience. Die, Earth Demon, motherfucker! Can't wait till I get to later level so I can do more damage. Ah, shit! Hey, don't run away from me, you pussy! There we go. Flash on some hearts. Hmm. Oh, I can't really do a dash attack yet. Basically, run and then stop. I'd like to get to a save point now. Halfway to my health. Good antidotes. 
it can actually heal poison. So where's the save point? Okay, is that red room over there? Red room! Red room! <laughs> oh, there's the save point. And with that, I'm gonna stop the video right here. So I'll stay tuned for the next part, and we explore more of this castle. Goodbye for now.